Hey guys, Jadzia here, and I have another DVD up, DVD Blu-ray update. Surprise, surprise. Seems to be all I've been doing lately, but, you know, I've been getting a ton of stuff, even though I didn't think I would be, but I am. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, the first one, I got the Die Hard Legacy Collection on Blu-ray, and this has all, I think, all five films um yeah all five films and they're they're not even really like the first three aren't even remastered they're the same um like the individual blu-ray releases uh so it, nothing really special um and the special features have just been poured over from the individual releases so nothing really you know, big or whatever, and I didn't realize it until after I bought it, and I kind of wish that I had bought the, um, the 25th anniversary edition instead, um, that didn't include the newest movie, um, and I, I do have another gripe about this, um, it's a really beautiful slipcover, I really like that, um, but as you see here, it's not like a book like the 25th anniversary collection. It's just um, two gatefold editions. And one of mine's backwards, actually, because we watched the first movie last night. Um, see, this is the last two uh, movies. And I don't know if you can see that, but um, that's a disc inside, and they're out of the thing. And see um I tried fixing it with double-sided tape and it didn't it actually didn't work so um I actually I need to call uh the number on the back of the set to see about maybe getting a replacement or something I don't know um or just to tell them that their packaging sucks ass because it really does and I don't know what to do like I I really and the sad part is I, I uh, threw in a receipt, which was an idiot move of me. Um, luckily, it's because they're Blu-rays; they don't, um, they don't really scratch as much as they would if it was a DVD. So, I guess that's good. But still, I mean, it's very poor packaging on uh, Fox's part. I just, I wish they had done a better job. But you know, whatever. So, yeah. But, I mean, I do like the slipcover deal. Like, I always, I, I'm, I always love a slipcover. So. Uh, let's see. And next, we got Sucker Punch, the extended cut. Um, and the, it comes with a theatrical version and then the extended cut. There's two different discs. Um, and then I believe it comes, yeah, this comes with a digital copy as well. Okay. I have so many things with digital copies, and I I never use them. Like, I need to collect all my digital copies and just, I don't know, give them to somebody or something. <laughs> um, but, yeah, here's, let's see, this one is the theatrical version, and then this one's the extended cut. Um, and this was only, like, $7.88 at Walmart because it was in um, that big dump, the big Blu-ray dump-in that they have now. Which I hate that they do those dumping because it's, it's such a pain in the butt to look through. Um, but I kind of wish I picked up the steel book of this when they had it at Walmart for like twelve, like ten or twelve dollars. But oh well, this is still pretty good. I think it was probably the same release. It was just in the steel book form, so I yeah, you know, probably wouldn't. It's not all much. Uh, and then we have Howl's Moving Castle on DVD and Blu-ray. This is one of my favorite Studio Ghibli films, and. Um, that I, I I need to collect. I want to start collecting all the uh, Hayao Miyazaki films on Blu-ray because they line up really nicely on the shelf because they all have the same spine design, and I just I love it. I have I think four now on DVD Blu-ray. Yeah, four on DVD Blu-ray, and then like five on DVD. So. And then we have Vin Diesel Riddick. Uh, this is the Energy Director's Cut Blu-ray DVD digital copy. Um, I watched this the other night, and I, I don't know, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't 
it wasn't like I thought it was going to be. So, eh. I don't know. It's still pretty cool. <laughs> uh, and then we have The Evil Dead, the new one. Um, this one, Derek and I saw it in theaters, uh, when it came out, and, um, at first they're kind of indifferent towards it, but the more I kind of, like, thought about it, the more I didn't really look at it as a, um, remake, it, like, I kind of looked at it as, um, same stuff happening to a different group of teenagers, basically. Like, I, if I kept thinking about it as a remake, I kind of, you know, kept getting irritated with it. But, um, yeah. So, I need to give it another watch, but I figured I'd add it to my collection because I, in my Blu-rays, I'm very sparse in terms of horror. So, I'm trying to fix that. <laughs> uh, let's see. And then... By Independence Day, also from the Blu-ray dump-in for like $7.88. Uh, I used to really hate this movie because it would come on all the time and my dad would watch it all the time. Um, but the older I got, I, got I, I guess I started to appreciate it more, I guess. Um, this is, you know, it's a pretty decent movie. I need to give it another watch. It's been a while since I've watched it, so. Uh, the next is Carrie, and this one was also seven eighty eight, but it wasn't in the dump-in. Uh, and this one is the original, um, what year? Well, this is the original one that they put out. And I wanted to get the remake, um, on Blu-ray. They had it at Target for, like, $10 with a lenticular cover, but when I went back to actually get it, they were out. I didn't want to get the DVD. I wanted to get the Blu-ray. But eventually I'll get it. I have, I've not heard good things about it, but um, I will watch it and make my own judgment. But yeah, the original. Now I just need to get the TV remake or whatever, because apparently that one's pretty decent too. But eh. and then we got Gremlins 2, the new batch. So I love this movie. Me and Derek watched it the other night, and we had, neither of us had watched it since we were little kids. And, well... I watched it a few times as a teenager when it came on TV, um, but when we watched it, there were so many things that, like, we didn't get as a kid that we now got as adults, and we were like, oh my gosh, this is hilarious. It's actually, it's a pretty funny movie, and I need to get the first one on Blu-ray. I have it on DVD, but, um, I need to get the first one, and it was so funny because the day after I this, I saw, um, a three-disc Blu-ray set of, like, um, the Goonies, Gremlins 1 and Gremlins 2 for uh, $13 or $15. I was like, oh, I should have got that one. But I think I, I'm going to get the uh, the single release of Gremlins eventually. <laughs> and then we have The Hobbit. Uh, and I have not watched this yet. My dad watched it the other day. He said, it was, he, said he liked it. But, um... I've still yet to sit down and make the uh, almost three hour time commitment for this. <laughs> but um, I got this off of Amazon for like $5.30 because I had a f five and some change gift card. Um, and so they had it on sale for $10. So I only had to pay like five thirty out of pocket, which is awesome because this comes with um, the, let's see... Two Blu-ray discs. I think one has, yeah, one Blu-ray disc is nothing but special features. And then uh, the DVD. So that's pretty awesome. I just kind of wish that it came with a slip cover. But um, I'll probably find one eventually. Uh, and then we got Hocus Pocus. Uh, it's one of my, my and Derek's favorite movies. We always watch it um, around Halloween time. Like, I think last Halloween we watched it so many times. We had it on tape, but now we have it on Blu-ray and DVD, so we can watch it in better quality. Yay! Uh, and then to go along with Riddick, I got The Chronicles of Riddick. And so now with this one, I've got all three except for the Dark Fury um, animated thing, which that one only comes on DVD. Uh, and then the, the, the bad part is that the pitch black movie I have on Steelbook. And I have this one with a, a uh, 
slip cover and then Riddick has a slip cover and the way I organize my uh <laughs> my blu-rays doesn't sound weird but I have like all my steel books lined up together all of my ones with slip covers lined up together and all the ones without slip covers lined up together um so that's gonna be interesting I need to, maybe maybe I can do it oh excuse me it's it's not even that late it's only 8 30 um, but maybe I can make an exception. I need to, cause I like organizing things by genre, but I don't have really enough. Well, I probably have enough at this point to organize them by genre. We'll see. <laughs> I see they put these on the shelf cause they've not gotten, they've not been put on the shelf yet because I hadn't set aside to do the, uh, the update. So, and this one is actually the unrated director's cut. I wish that they didn't have this little line right here, that it was nothing but this. And they actually, they had this one on Steelbook when Pitch Black was on. Like, they had the Pitch Black on Steelbook, and I should have done that. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Coulda, shoulda, woulda. I, I did get this one for, I think, seven eighty eight as well. It, it wasn't in the dump end. It was, like, on the uh, shelf. But not a bad price. And then I got Evil Dead 2, the 25th anniversary edition from, I think this is a Lionsgate release. Yes, this is actually the, the Blu-ray that you want to get. You do not want to get the um, first Evil Dead 2 Blu-ray release that had the poster art cover on it because that's a horrible transfer. Um, and this one actually has a ton of special features. I got this one for $5 at Target. And I also got um, the Gremlins 2 Blu-ray. For $5 at Target, which is awesome. Because they have this one for like $2.88 more at Walmart and even on um, Amazon.com. So if you're ever in Target, and pick this up. I need to get the original Evil Dead on Blu-ray. And they had it in the dump in at Walmart for $7.88. But, and I was, like, I was so excited. I was like, oh yes, finally. Because I could never, I couldn't find it for a decent price online. Um, or really one that I wanted to pay. Mm. Um, so I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'll get this. But I looked at it and it wasn't the, um, re-released Blu-ray that had the, um, the set, like the DVD in it with all the special features. It just had the commentary on the Blu-ray and I was like, oh, balls. So yeah, I gotta get that one. And then, um, Army of Darkness, the Screwhead Edition, which I think is, that's the only Blu-ray edition out right now. Uh, let's see. And then the last Blu-ray that I got is Tron, the original classic. And this one's got the Blu-ray and DVD. And I watched this the day I got it. And for the first time, I'd never seen this, this movie before. And I enjoyed it. It was really good for its time. Um, this effects were pretty neat and stuff. So yeah, I need to get Tron Legacy now and rewatch that one. Oh, but yeah, this one's a special edition too. And it's got... Uh, it's got some decent, um, special features on it, so. Not too bad. And then I got a lot of DVDs as well. Um, got Due Date for five, out of the $5 dump in at Walmart. And this was actually Derek's pick because he loves this movie. It's pretty funny. Um, but, yeah. It, Zach Galifianakis and Robert Downey Jr. You can't go wrong. And then this is also Derek's pickup, um, The Return of the Living Dead. This is one of his favorite movies ever. Um, and I, I enjoy it too. But, um, yeah, zombies. Can't go wrong. Uh, and this one, oh my gosh, Fright Night 2, New Blood, unrated, $5. I'm so glad I didn't get it on Blu-ray because I wanted to get it on Blu-ray because of Jamie Murray and I thought it was going to be so awesome and I watched it and it was just it was basically the first movie um, in a different country and Jerry Dandridge was a female. Yeah. And I've watched like half of the original Fright Night 2 because I got my hands on it and started watching it and <laughs> they are nothing alike. It is awful. And I'm just, I don't know why. I thought that this was actually, because this was direct DVD, by the way. This did not go to theaters or anything. And that should have been my first clue that it was direct to video, that it was going to suck. 
and but I was like Jamie Murray how can like how can that be awful but it was Jamie Murray <laughs> you just oh god you're so hot as a vampire but you just made me sad so yeah I'm glad that I did not get this on Blu-ray I would have been I just I would have been so upset with myself this this might go in the yard sale pile <laughs> to be sold for like a dollar because yeah no I don't really want to keep that one uh and then another one of Derek's pickups Step Brothers I'm <laughs> not a big Will, uh, Will Ferrell or John C. Riley fan um but this one does have its funny moments so you know I can't really can't really complain too much it does have its funny moments um and then this is I got the Great Muppet Caper and I actually got this for free from the Disney Movie Rewards website um, just because I have so many Disney movies, uh, I grabbed up all of my little slips with the codes on it and put them all in, and I was able to get this, and I was also able to get a, um, Animators Collection Jasmine doll, which I should have got down, but I didn't, but it's pretty, and I love, I love it. I cannot believe I got it for free, considering that in the Disney store right now, they're like $27, so, yeah, and I got it for free. No, sh I didn't have to pay shipping for either of them. So that's nice. And I still have stuff, like, the Disney movies that I just showed, I've yet to put, put my points into the thing for that. And I think I have some left over, so I'll probably end up being able to get another movie or some cool prize. But yeah, I, I don't remember watching this particular Muppet movie. I might have as a kid, but I don't remember. Oh well, I'll watch it eventually. I haven't watched it yet, but yeah, this one is the Anniversary Edition. Um... Oh, well, it's Kermit's 50th anniversary. So Kermit's been around for 50 years. That is cray-cray. Wow. That was crazy. So, yep. Great Muppet Caper. I need, I would love to get the Blu-ray. It had the Great Muppet Caper and I want to say the Muppet movie in the Great Muppet Caper or it was Muppets Take Manhattan in the Great Muppet Caper. I, don't know, I know I had this one on it and it was like a two pack Blu-ray set, but I'm, I'm happy to have gotten this for free. So you can't complain about free. And then lastly is child star, the Shirley Temple story. Um, and I got this like two weeks ago. Um, and it's kind of like, it's kind of sad because Shirley Temple Black actually passed away yesterday from, uh, from natural causes and so yeah this one's that uh, this one is based on her her autobiography that she wrote the child star autobiography it's not it doesn't um go through it completely uh it has to kind of condense it down because this was a tv uh tv movie um as you can see right here the wonderful world of disney so this is one of those saturday night movies that they would always show um around that around i think it was like Oh, when did this come out? I don't know. It was like... Um... I don't remember what year this came out. But I remember that Disney Channel was doing like... Um... I think it was on Saturday nights. They would always do these kind of movies. So... Yeah. And that is everything. I feel like I bought out a whole store. I think I got like 20... Blu-rays and DVDs combined, so yeah, a nice little haul. Can't complain. And also, I got new glasses. I'm so excited. They're so cute, and they fit my face, and I can see. Because apparently, my astigmatism had gotten worse, and I was getting headaches all the time because of it. And the the glasses I wore previously, I had for six years. Six years. I can't. I can't believe that. So I'm glad. And I also got another pair. Um, I guess I'll, I can show them all. I got another pair. So, which are similar to my other ones, but they're wider. They're not as uh, narrow. So yeah. And my other ones I donated um, to the the optometrist or for the Lions Club because they come and pick them up and I don't know what they do with them, but I donated them. <laughs> So, yeah, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your comments below, and I will talk to you later. Bye!